Taurus. Welcome back to Angels Light Tarot. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by for your monthly general message for March 2020. Angels and guides, angels and guides, we are looking for all the positive energy that we can muster for, yes, 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 for Come on, angels. Give me some positive energy for Taurus. What is going on for Taurus this lovely, lovely March? What is going on? A lot. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. What's going on in March for Taurus? Positive energy. We're looking for some positive energy for Taurus. Positive energy, please. Positive energy for Taurus. March 2020. March 2020. What is going on, angels? For? Yes. For? <laughs> Taurus. Angels, what is going on here? A lot. Wow. A lot is going on. You're like, Dora, just shuffle. Just shuffle. One more. One more, please. One more message. One more message. One more one just one just one from this deck just one thank you thank you thank you next deck next deck yes 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 angels and guys positive energy remember guys if this is taking too long you already know what to do yes 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 you already know what to do and you're like what to do <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Or I'm sure there, I'm sure there's someone that that loves to put down when the um, reading begins. And how awesome of that is you? How gracious! How gracious is that of you? Angels and guides, angels and guides. Positive energy, positive energy for Taurus. What is going on this month? for Taurus? Let's get into this. There's quite a bit. So I hope you have your tea coffee, water. Okay, you're like, Dora, just get on with it, okay? All right, so major theme of the month is the Tower card. Yes, 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 with the Queen of Diamonds and the Ace of Diamonds, with the Heart Chakra and the Angel of Sweet Delight. So you're thinking, you're thinking, what the heck? Yeah, yeah, the Tower. There will be a breakdown. There will be a sudden, whoo, like, yeah, it's, yeah, there's something coming. And I feel like this something coming has to do with the way you spend money. Yes. I feel like you will definitely have a change. You will definitely have a new, uh, um, it's like, it's like the way you, like, I feel like maybe you've been spending too much or maybe, um, someone in your life has been spending too much money. And I feel like you are getting to the heart of the matter with the heart chakra. And I feel like once you get to the heart of the matter of your finances, I feel like, yes, you will come to sweet delight. So it is not as bad as you think, but there definitely will be a reconstruction when it comes to a restructure, when it comes to your finances. And I feel like in the end, you will be, you will like, you'll get to the heart of the matter, right? But I feel like in the end, you'll be very comfortable with whatever this, whatever these finances are okay this this change this major shift okay now there might even be a new job on offer okay just to let you know might be you might be your partner someone it might be something new there's something new in finances that are coming okay now when we look at the recent past we had the five of wands with the six of clubs and the nine of clubs with the spiritual union and the angel of joyful recognition. So in the recent past, I feel like there was some squabbling. There was pretty petty, petty, petty squabbling. I feel, I feel, but something you felt needed to be said. Yes. And I feel like you had to be heard. You kept saying it. Yes, you did in your spiritual unions because you joyful recognition you had to be recognized for everything that you have been doing right I feel I definitely feel like yeah you were I, I feel like yeah look you someone needed someone needed to appreciate you okay but this was in the recent past this was in the recent past now in the middle of the month we have the star card mm -hmm, mm -hmm, with the king of spades with the king of spades uh-huh and the queen of clubs with the solitude card and the angel of learning so yes I definitely feel like emotionally you're getting 
things are balanced. I feel like you're definitely balanced in your emotions, but it does not come without work. It's coming with a lot of work, but you're getting everything organized. You're getting your emotions organized. You're spending time alone. Yes, you are. And you are learning. I feel like you're learning how to soothe, soothe yourself, calm yourself. Yes. In the middle of the month. Um, yes, you're calming yourself and you're finding that peace and joy. Okay. Now, Kind of like a baby, you know, you give a pacifier to a baby to soothe the baby. Yeah, you're soothe, you're learning to soothe yourself, right? Instead of, you know, going out and looking for all of these things in the universe to soothe us. Yeah, that could be, I don't know, alcohol or uh, smoke or something like that. We're learning to soothe ourselves without anything outside of self. Now, now when we look at, at by the end of the month, we have the eight, the eight of swords reversed uh -huh, with the five of clubs, the three of spades, the jack of of diamonds, intuition, and the angel of radiance. So by the end of the month, I feel like whatever you thought that you were stuck in before, you by the end of the month, you're like, nah, no, no, I, I'm not. I'm, I'm definitely not. I've changed my mind. I don't feel like I'm stuck anymore. I'm ready to um, try different things out, right? To try different things out. I feel like they may even be creative things. Um, I'm thinking of a lot of creative creativity. Like you might... I feel like, you know, if this was a job, I feel like you feel that you're, you're not stuck. You're not stuck anymore. You're willing to try something different, even if it means doing two jobs or doing something creative or doing something you've never done before, but you're willing to do that at the end of the month. You're using your intuition and I feel like you're, you're, it's making you happy with the radiance card. You're like really happy and people are asking you, wow, what, why are you so happy? Why are you shining right now? You're like, cause you know, I broke free. I, I don't have to do this anymore. I don't have to do that anymore, whatever that is. But what I feel that you are definitely going towards your creative side. You might be, if it's jobs, maybe you're doing some other type of job. Maybe that's, that's more creative or maybe you're choosing to, um, you know, write a screenplay, write your first book or start your YouTube channel or, um, create a dance or create crochet or whatever it is that's creative. I see that you're doing that and maybe that's what's helping soothe you as well. Okay. So let's look at your bonus. Let's look at your bonus Taurus. So you have the, the full card. Yes, the Fool with the Three of Swords and the Ace of Swords reversed with the Devil card. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And the King of Swords with the Three the three of cups, a lot of information going on here. With the Ten of Hearts, the Ten of Diamonds, the Light. Angel of Reflection and the Angel of Spiritual Tempest. So your bonus is telling me that you're ready to start a brand new, something new, something totally, totally new. You're ready to start off on a new adventure, but I feel you're worried about it. You're like, you are literally worried about taking this next step, right? You're just worried yourself sick. You're worrying yourself not. It's almost like you're worrying so much that you're not even going to make this new step. You're not going to go for this journey because the worry is getting in the way. The universe can't give it to you because you're worried too much. It's not the there's a block. There's definitely a block and you're blocking it with your worry. Okay. Now, maybe it's because you're, you're afraid that whatever it is that you want to do is going to affect your relationship. Okay. Um, or your relationship with your partner or your relationship with your child or relationship with your job. Maybe you're worried about that. Right. But I feel like stand in your power with the King, King of swords. Don't worry so much. This will work out in your favor with the three of cups. Let me tell you how much it will. Yes. The 10 of hearts. It's like you will, whatever this is, this creative thing is, that you want to do, you are going to, people are going to love it and people are going to love you. And it's going to be so successful that you're going to be like, what? Why was I worried? Why was I even worried about this? Because now I see the light. I definitely see the light and your angel of reflecting reflection. You're looking back on everything and you're thinking, why, oh, why, oh, why did this take me so long, right? And the angel of spiritual tempters, I feel like you may be tempted to, I feel like, I feel like there is a temptation to um, overdo things. And maybe this is the reason why you, um, 
didn't want to maybe maybe if you start something new maybe you might love it so much that you start giving more of your energy to that versus your relationships maybe if you love it you know because when you love what you do the hours just fly by and other things kind of get left you know on on the side of the back burner and maybe you know that about your personality or maybe you know that if you do this i could possibly let other things slide that are important so yeah don't be tempted to overdo it, okay? Remember, there are people in your lives that still need you, but it's going to be, I feel like it's going to be an awesome month. I feel like you're starting something brand new. You're off to a new journey. Um, maybe maybe something happens. I feel like maybe you could, um, maybe there could be an ending to something. Maybe it's a job, or maybe it's a car, or maybe it's a house, or maybe it's an ending to something, but whatever it is, this is the best possible ending you could have because you're going to thank God for this ending okay when when everything it's almost like when something happens and it shakes your foundation you're like oh my god and then a week to two weeks down the road you're like oh my god I'm so glad that happened right because now I'm in such a better place okay so I send you joy namaste and much much love sent your way